Hey guys, welcome to Pillbox Movies. I'm Hank. It's summer in New York and my camera is overheating. <laughs> so I figured in lieu of recording a video, I'd do a little audio recording. And so I decided, why don't we watch a little short? This is Celine Siama's Pauline. It was suggested to me by a commenter, so thank you for that. <clears throat> Pauline is apparently a spiritual successor to Water Lilies. I'm not sure if it's uh, strictly a continuation of the story of Marie, but Pauline is the name of the actress that played the character, Pauline Kaut. So yeah, I figured I'd give this a little watch and maybe say a few words on it. The short is available on YouTube. Feel free to watch the short, or if you've already seen it, uh, let's get on with it. As one of five films against homophobia. Okay. I'm guessing this was, you know, done in uh, collaboration with a uh, an initiative. It's a little village, but really petit. Tout le monde connaît tout le monde. C'était jamais seul. Ma vie, c'était mes parents, mon frère, et ceux avec qui jouer le soir sur la place du village après l'école. Okay, so if we're gonna take this to be um, a continuation of the story of Marie. It seems to have expanded her biography a bit more. Uh, uh, given given uh, insight into her family uh, and possibly a brother. <laughs> this is funny. This is like a, a reversion or a, con or a contradiction to the famous opening shot of... Of Sofia Coppola's Lost in Translation, um, that film opened up with a very pronounced lingering shot of uh, Scarlett Johansson's backside, and this is like the complete opposite of that, where that was depicting a, a young woman as a kind of um, disassociated sex object, and this is taken the the same setup. And instead of uh, situating the character as the object, it has made her the subject. Mon meilleur ami. On prenait des bains ensemble quand on était petit, alors du coup, ça me semblait normal, naturel. Okay, this is interesting. Um, J'aimais bien. Polly is apparently dated a young boy named Orlean when she was younger, and had grown up with him and had a kind of affinity with him. In childhood, they had taken baths together. Um, not to spoil myself too much, but I did see some promotional materials for Tomboy, and I do believe the subject of shared baths is brought up in that film. So I think that it might be another, maybe not biographical detail, but a detail within this kind of shared DNA or shared world building of Celine Siama's works. Moi, ça allait disparaître avec lui. On a couché ensemble. This is probably one of um, Siama's most normal, frank uh, conversations fois. about sexuality, about uh, lesbianism. Usually she's not so verbal about these things. I think that's actually a, a great strength of Siyama's. I think as a queer filmmaker, there's a degree of assumption she has that her that the audience will be kind of familiar with the at least base level ideas or definitions or um, identities that she's playing around with, and that allows her a kind of space to explore those those subjects um homosexuality queerness uh otherness without having to be so definite about them without having to give strict definitions or terms and as a result she can approach it more uh from a position of naivety or childhood or exploration i think that's like a really part of what gives them a sense of timelessness that none of these kind of feelings 
in her feature works are defined with labels. They're something that you something that you feel and that you express, and it comes as naturally to you as any other feeling you have, as natural as the feeling of the warmth of the, of the sun. In her feature films, queerness is not a, a political term that has to be learned. It's something inherent that you discover. Il accepte. Puis en fait, j'ai compris qu'il voyait surtout le cas d'un plan à trois. Si j'avais couché avec elle toute seule, il aurait trouvé ça dégueulasse. Did you say menage à trois? I guess there's a different term for it in French these days. Puis il a commencé à raconter à tout le monde que j'étais bizarre et que j'étais Gwyn. Just never thought I'd actually hear that expression in a Céline Siyama film. C'était l'été. On faisait une pièce de théâtre avec la troupe du lycée sur la place du village. Moi, j'étais la plus. I'm wondering if this might be a little bit more biographical. Je jouais un garçon, j'avais les cheveux très courts. Ma mère m'avait fait un super costume. Uh, just bringing up the subject of the um, performing arts of the drama club. This is definitely kind of like a detail that wouldn't that isn't present for Marie or for most any other of Celine Siama's characters. Uh, a direct link to uh, the performing arts and to the dramatic arts, which of course fuels into Siama's own career path as a director. Per costume, un uniforme avec une cape. Et puis là, quand j'entre en scène, j'entends j'entends la voix d'un type, un ami de mon père. Alors je le regarde, il se lève, il s'attrape l'entrejambe et il dit que quand j'y aurai goûté, ça changera tout. Qu'il fallait tomber sur le bon et toutes ces conneries. Même pas original. Tout le monde arrive. This is very interesting. I feel like this, because this is short and because it's for specifically a collection of films against homophobia, this is a, uh, this short is going against a lot of kind of design restrictions, I'd say, Siyama has for a lot of her feature films. This is directly confronting issues and labels with identity and, and sexuality. Tout le monde arrive. Tout le monde. Tous ces gens avec qui j'avais grandi. Oh, that's sad. Mes profs, mes amis, this is kind of speaking to a sense of frère, alienation, kind of the, the world turning upside down, that everybody parents, becomes unfamiliar to you. Um, when this kind of revelation of your identity is, is revealed to them. Ils sont restés assis comme au spectacle. Sans rien dire. Le pire, c'est que je les ai même pas détestés. Je suis détesté moi d'être comme ça. Wow. I think as a, a, a film, specifically a short film against homophobia, this this movie is being is kind of obliged to be very direct in in speaking about these experiences. Uh, with uh, encountering homophobia and encountering a crisis of identity that occurs when your identity is not uh, reciprocated or, or valued or cherished by your community. So yeah, it's very it's very devastating to, to hear Siyama say out loud all of those fears and pains that she usually keeps underneath the surface. Après ça, tout le monde se taisait. Mes parents n'en parlaient pas. Mais je sentais dans la rue qu'on me regardait. On se moquait dans mon dos. J'étais toute seule. Enfin non, il y a... Il y a une fille qui est venue vers moi. Celle qui me plaisait. Oh, really? They kind of like knew each other subconsciously. Elle dans ma chambre. Hand holding is such a, a significant um, action or um, means of relating in, in Water Lilies because Marie and Florian are at times very, very kind of reserved in their expressions uh, and in their attraction to each other. Uh, they express it a lot through, through hand holding and through 
through touch. It's it's very kind of sweet and juvenile and innocent. And it's not until they're kind of more overwhelmed at the end of the film that they actually express tactile desire through through kissing. Il buvait jusqu'à s'endormir. Je voyais ses yeux qui brillaient quand elle me regardait. C'est ça qui me faisait tenir. Je me disais que c'était possible. Alors un jour j'ai essayé de l'embrasser et elle m'a repoussé. Oh no, why? Si oh god, it's water lilies all over again. Je me suis dit c'était dégueulasse. Comme si elle avait pas pensé. And this is a very actually uh, different interpretation of those events, but Aujourd'hui, perhaps because it's from uh, si the the Murray point of view, and it's how she kind of interprets that that event. Elle aussi, elle l'a à tout le monde. Oh, that's just such a betrayal. Après ça, mes parents avaient vraiment honte. Je le sentais. Alors je suis partie. Je sentis qu'ils étaient tristes, mais aussi un peu soulagés. Enfin, je sais pas. Je les ai pas revus depuis. Oh wow. Ça fait trois ans. On s'appelle, on se dit des banalités. On pose pas de questions, surtout pas. Parce qu'ils ont peur des réponses. Bon, maintenant, je suis bien ici. J'arrive pas encore à dire que c'est chez moi, mais... Chez moi, c'est toujours là-bas. Hmm. That's an interesting sentiment. In terms of, we'll say, like the shared DNA of Siama's films, I actually feel like that's, if anything, a direct comparison to, to Girlhood, which you can also watch on this channel, and to the character of, of Vic, uh, of Mariam. Mariam, under very different circumstances, kind of separates herself from her home life and strikes out as an independent and part of the kind of... Um, emotional through line of the ending is whether or not she can resolve these twin identities uh the part of her that is independent and the part of her that can exist and moderate her own life and the part of her that is still a child and is still needful and is still not only seeks out the comfort of the the home that she came from but it's not that she's only comforted by it it's it's a part of her identity it's not something that she can cast away so easily, just as she she or uh, the protagonists of Siama's works could cast off their sexuality. It is, with its blemishes, still integral to... But maybe it will change now. Now that you're here. Now that you're here. <laughs> it was Adele. <laughs> I'm always happy to see Adele. And it's nice to see her kind of like um play the good guy in this movie. Uh not that she plays the bad guy in the others. She's I wouldn't call her exactly the bad guy in A Water Lilies, and she's certainly not the bad guy, per se, in Portrait of a Lady on Fire. But in terms of their mechanical roles, um, it should be noted that Hanel's character is usually the one who is is in both cases the one who uh, leaves and the one who breaks off the relationship. And so it's nice to see her kind of be the savior in this context as opposed to the the one who leaves <laughs> i just loved how that ended with their laughter and in, in in dark you don't have to see it it's just that that lightness of touch that siama has just the suggestions yeah i'm not gonna get 
I'm not going to get emotional over uh, uh, so an eight minute short film. <laughs> you can't do that. You can't, you can't take that from me. Um, so I'm just going to leave it here. I hope you watch this short and I hope every single day, truly in my heart of hearts that you and everyone in this world watches Salian Siyama's work. Um, she truly is a special filmmaker and I relish the opportunity to see uh, um, everything that she's done. <sighs> if you have some more suggestions for short films or stuff that's like YouTube-ish that I can check out, uh, let me know. And in the meantime, I hope my camera doesn't keep overheating.